Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough where we are about to go and make landfall on Kiva Gamma, our second planet. And if I remember rightly, I get attacked here and I don't appear to be able to repair, which is a little annoying, but we do have, let's see, uh, negating four points of damage each side. Uh, I still think that's better. It's odd, but it's better. Uh, I don't have enough to upgrade anything because I sold it all off because I'm a numpty. Wish me luck. I suspect I'll need it. I don't know why I'm saving when I've literally just started. So here we go. Uh, yeah, of the rogue we we are in a fight. Okay, thankfully they're mostly small boys, but still, let's push. Wait, do I still have? Okay, I think because we're fighting chaos, we're getting buffs. Fire the lance batteries. I really need to work out how to turn down literally just the sound for, from this. Let's up my four shields. Okay, and turn. <clears throat> While the enemy approaches. I mean, I think we've got plenty of... Uh, of Our hull is chunky enough for the time being. I mean, we couldn't even upgrade last time. We could repair, but in the alpha, we couldn't even upgrade our ship. So, we are much better off. Okay, move forward slightly. Hopefully we'll get both sides here. This is why I increased my range a bit. Nice. And we can hit this. And coming around to try and finish this guy off. <clears throat> Oh, not quite enough, but this'll do to get my uh, my lance going. There we go. Uh, starboard shields. Hmm. So one of them is completely undamaged. How did that top one get damaged? Did I miss something? So I looked away for like half a second because there was a noise. I think one of them died. Ooh, interesting, guys. So I bring him into my port and we're going to arc around and try and get behind the other guy. Okay. 
Ah. Dropping at that side to try and hit them. And yeah, let's enter there. <clears throat> okay, we are we are hammering our way through these guys. It was me being a bit worried I'd already taken damage. Ooh, they actually went for my torpedoes for a change. Ooh, okay. Why am I half expecting somebody to mod uh, a mod in this so it, it, it loads a battle when you fight a space battle, it loads it in Battlefield Fleet Gothic. Would be cool. I could just do ultra cinematic recording and just, just cut out whenever I have a battle, but no, it would be too much of the pain in the ass to do. I can take a torpedo. I mean, I can also avoid a torpedo, so... But probably not by going this way. But probably by doing this. Port shields. There we go. No, <clears throat> oh, I getting behind me. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ah! I wish I had more than one ship. I'm gonna be honest. Did it? What? Did it just blow itself up? Leave the hull strewn it's a hard turn here to try and wipe them out. Port and right! Port and right! What?! I've only just noticed that. That uh, makes my brain hurt. Why?! Why?! No. 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 You can't do port and right. You can do left and right. I, I let, allow that. But port and right. Just no. Port and starboard would be fine. Port and right is not. Ah, that's going to annoy me intensely now, I've noticed. I know why they've done it, because starboard wouldn't fit there, but... Oh, oh, stay there. Please stay there. There's something I want to try, which I've not had a chance to yet. <laughs> Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to this, guys. Some of you have probably guessed. <clears throat> Ramming speed! Yes! Oh, I can't use my power ref weapon, but I can 
take control of my torps. So I've not had a chance to use the ramming speed yet. That was fun. <clears throat> Oh, I have no shields on that flank. Oh, this could hurt. I mean, not that much. Especially as they are wide open now. The battle is over. Okay, so we've now cleared the space around our industrial world. Let us repair now that we can before I forget. Oh, let's save. I think I need this guy down here. Uh, let's leave Idara and take Pascal because Pascal... <laughs> <clears throat> utterly makes sense to have here. Plus, I've got some stuff I believe is for him. Him in particular. I mean, it's even been out of it, by the way, guys. Just, uh, I, 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 my, my son is currently blessed by Nurgle and has chicken pox. So, if I seem a bit out of it, it's because that's been making finding time to record record quite stressful uh, and tricky trying to slot everything in, if you see what I mean. So, yeah. <clears throat> Literally, because I'm kind of half dead every time I'm recording at the moment. Henrik's frowns, his eyes sweep over Manufactorum's dark holes. No solemn ceremony, no personal meeting with Magi. I fear we are too late and won't be dealing with clandestine heretics after all. Binary air are as al um, alarm and stream out of Pascal's Vaunt synthesizer. Remind me, what's your mission here? I assumed I would conduct an investigation and track down traces of the cult of Final Dawn. I believe I can discard that plan now. Both the incident with the scrap code and the manner which we were forced to land on Kivagama indicate the situation has taken a turn for the worse. Nevertheless, I must use this opportunity to try and determine what the cult was doing on the industrial world, and what specifically interested them on a planet full of sacred machines and servants of the Omnissiah. First, we must find someone who can tell us what's going, what has been going on here. If that is, there is only one left here to speak. We'll learn nothing but standing here. Let's go. First things first. Okay, find out about the cult activities. Mm, okay. Heavy, 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 heavy. Can I get... Bolt weapon might be useful. Ah, you've got to have high strength for that. That makes sense. Uh... I've got a spare bolt gun, so I'm going to bolt, give him bolter. No, I'm not necessarily going to use it, but we'll see. Current armor is forty percent. My competences are not that universal. Ooh, okay, some better scanners for our ship.
I mean, may as well equip that. I mean, last time he could equip far more weapons, but I don't think I can this time. Oh yeah, I can have a, a, a full-on bolter. Oh, I need somebody who can use heavy weapons. I mean, I know that will come. I know exactly who it'll be, but... Uh... Okay, that'll do. He says, then he goes straight back in. Yeah, I'm not going to take his El Nassar axe off him. Onward. Uh, <clears throat> uh, corrupted servitors. Uh, many of the customers of one kind are terrible. S but some are more insane and disgusting than the rest. I say nothing. You know, it's false. I, I do accept that. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Based on the cursory respect and due level servitors were designed for precision work of an assembly sign. Uh... The server's hand moves, slowly reaching towards you. Uh, avoid its stop touch. You gently s and swiftly step aside. It stretches its hand as if trying to blindly touch. And find the source of repeating clicks. Soon enough you locate the source of the clicking. On the back of a servitor's a tumour oozing with dark ichor. Yee. A mutation in a servitor? Tech priests typically reject the use of flawed soft tissue in their constructs. Perhaps something has caused this. Uh, let's try and cut it away. Uh, without much difficulty, you cut away the excess flesh. Uh, the liberated really lets you lets out a rapid burst of clicks that sparks and flashes before your eyes. And uh, crew twenty four, second lane of manufacturing, commencing work. State your request. Um, follow your standard programming. Okay. View the log. Uh, view the third one, the corrupted one. Knowledge machine is very sufficient to break it. The instrument terminals have been replaced. The material delivery systems have been prepared for divine transformation. Oh dear. The execution of new procedure has been delayed. And there are some in our ranks who doubt the words of the fabricator sensor and his votaries. Uh, your first log. Uh, praise the Omnisire. Those who, whose might and power transforms dead metal uh, to make manifest the holy visions of the machine god. Uh, so this is just talking about things. Uh, despite those who've, who've suffered, who've shuddered. Uh, today, at the Supreme Assembly, the fabricator sensor unsealed vaults of sacred designs and committed those deemed redundant or heretical to purifying disposal today. Dozens of standard procedures were lost to be replaced with new ones. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. Generally, they don't like changing what they do, so yeah. See, these servitors will actually be helpful to me now. Massive cogwheel! Hmm. Uh, tech Priest, uh... A lump's protruding under his particular red rolled hint mechanisms implanted in the body. I, I, identification. Request denied. Registering anomalous behavior within the servant's organics and an invalid nosphere response. This unit is compromised. Uh, examine him. You carefully studied the robe clad figure. A black border of necrosis spread around the temporary implants. I am jet. Of House Von Valencius, rogue trader. Irregularity exception of fabricator sensor approved protocol 3942. Recommend. What is this protocol? 
A sacred decree passed by a fabricator sensor that dictates the course of action should tech pre uh, should tech comrades of Kiva Gamma in, uh, immediate execution recommended. Recommendation rejected. <clears throat> the catechism of protocols could have been distorted. Adherence to the standard procedure of reconnaissance and purification recommended. Uh, let's continue with the protocols. Hmm. This is different. Oh, I'll turn you into corpse starch. Go. The corrupted servitors are still with us, so we've moved forwards to fight these guys. Ooh, fun times! Argento. Oh, wow. Okay, they explode. That might be worth remembering. Why we've got everybody so far forward. God damn it, Henrix. Why did I push so far forwards, guys? Someone remind me. I need your Aegis, oh, Emperor. Oh. Sorry, Henrik. No more. I, I, I. Sorry, Argent. You cannot force me, Alantak. I'll put my psychic abilities to use for the throne's glory. Oof. Naturally. Get guys! I'm actually getting my butt kicked here. Oh, oh yeah, I should have buffed all our weapons first. Avalon can come help. <laughs> Try and help anyway. Someone else can do this. <laughs> it will be done. <laughs> Good. Oh god. Oh god. Skinner. Oh, it didn't. Considering he hit me with a plasma weapon, I'm surprised that didn't hurt more. Uh. 
should have done that first. <laughs> Good boy, Avalard. I deal death with my hands. Everyone, step aside. Come on. Alas, no. Let's see to it. Lots of extra attacks, please. I think I've bugged. What? <laughs> I think I found a bug. Again, guys, early access are uh, very easy to report bugs. There is a little bug report button you can click in the top right corner, which I will be doing here later off thing. I would recommend you do that whenever you encounter a bug, obviously. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, that was weird. Uh, let's have a look at this. Can I go back down here? Oh joy. Yeah, I remember this. I've got to do a jumpy jumpy route around, I believe. Megos Heretic. Enjoy blood on the floor. Oops. Intriguing. Let's proceed. Duty prevails. Oh, set up a ladder. That's down there. Okay, the Lex Mechanic here. A Lex Mechanic, a small, heavily augmented man in filthy, tattered robe, stands before you as you approach. Uh, fear nothing from us. Deus Machinus. He heard my prayers. I thought I was alone in a kingdom of madness and depravity. Please save me. Tell us who you are and what happened here. I am Manufactorum Lex Mechanic Zeta 86. I performed the rituals for machine spirits on Foundry 95. Up until my brother started going mad. The priests devoted the Omnissiah suddenly started praising the dawn of something or other. They stopped their belts. They desecrated visages of the sacred machine with unholy symbols. Some resisted, others grabbed them and tied them up, and then... Then they turned their implants to heresy. I saw madmen. My former tech comrades deliberately connect those poor souls to corrupted cogitators. Watched as they were infected with scrap code. And did nothing to stop them? I am recording a violation of of the commandment of thine own forge a true sentinel apostate zeta 86 your access is hereby revoked proceed with your report how did you manage to avoid the same fate i i didn't avoid it they performed the same procedure on me i felt the touch of unholy code i allowed it to control me 
I abandoned my sacred post and followed one of the traitors, serving his will and gathering all the data for his blasphemous experiments. I was driven by an unholy impulse, coming from the depths of my auxiliary cogitator, where the code had lodged itself. Before I found a way to throw off the compulsion, I witnessed horrifying heresy, the extraction of true flesh and its decomposition on altars. Perver perverse procedures that resulted in heretic mechanical abominations. I even accompanied a fallen magus to the fabricator since himself and attended the unholy mass he led personally. It was a wicked, wicked ritual full of deviations and blatant inaccuracies. Hmm. You don't act like the others who are infected. Praise the gifts of the Omnissiah. I managed to disconnect my external cogitator, which I use the primary data processing. The machine is corrupted, the scrap code locked inside it, like a beast in a cage, but anyone who tries to look inside will fall victim to the heretical program. My primitive brain has been marked by corruption. I still see their silhouettes and hear their interference. I sense the malfunctions in my augmetics, but I st was still saved from the great sacrifice. Oh, blessed are the workings of the Omnissiah. <clears throat> Henrik's tenses over ever so slightly over the next mechanics worked. You see his hand casually straight to hand his weapon, but the interrogator is in no hurry to axe. You mentioned a monster? No, no, no. Not those contracts. Constructs. They are melted down in furnaces and sent into the depths of the manufactorum. It is some kind of semblance of a cogitator, a nightmarish parody of a sacred machine, powered not by the Omnissiah's great, but by the unholy spirit and life force of the unfortunates imprisoned within the lower levels. I don't know much, except the fabricator sensor uh, saw that machine as special. It was special to him and the crazies who defiled the Omnissiah's abode with their obscene blasphemy. For all the, for, for the final ritual, he even called upon the Astartes heretics who arrived. Oh dear, Chaos Space Marines. He did something terrible. And only after, after were they able to switch the machine on. A true abomination, even standing near, it is unbearable. I believe that even those who have been deprived of the Omnissiah's grace still feel the influence on them. The monstrous power utilised for unholy computations and chaotic calculations. How did your craze bear behave? Uh, like the grave of, of the Omnissiah had left them, replacing free thought and progress with the blackest corruption. I witnessed them desecrating the structures of the blessed fabricator sensor himself. Um, okay, uh, people trapped, lay servants of the main units, they live in isolated segments under the sacred machine halls, I heard they were locked in after the takeover, then my craves brethren changed the system for disposing of slagged waste and covered the machines with cursed signals, he has states, after they started the cogitator, they dragged the survivors out of the segments under the machine halls, well, what survivors had turned into. You demonstrate exceptional powers of obligation to recall someone who just happened for someone who just happened to survive. I'm a Lex mechanic. Gathering data is my purpose and my existence. That's even what they used me for. They used me against my will. The scrap code turns everyone into their slave before I rid myself of it. Uh, what do you make of this? Servant of the Omnissiah. I know much more about fi the Final Dawn, the Fabricator Sensor, his mass, and about the machine as well. <clears throat> I could give you the coordinates, but even though I was present for many, many blasphemies committed by those heretics, all the details were captured and processed by my true, f part, true flesh on the Ometic that was corrupted by scrap code. I am convinced that if I hadn't fought off the foreign compulsion of time, I would have been doomed. The corruption would have spread to my biological cogitator as well. I swear that no devout tech priest should come into contact with us hidden in this one sacred device. 
Henry's expression shifts and stares intently at the disconnected brass. Uh, what are you thinking? There may be a way to retrieve the uh, cogitator's contents via another device. Even the very idea of exposing a holy machine to the scrap code wasn't profane in itself. My augmentics are not universally compatible. They cannot be connected to another machine spirit. They were created to interact with the system of my true flesh. In other words, there's only one way to extract the data stored in this. Henrix, no. For Lex Malactanic could be privy to conversations vital to investigating the cult. No, anything but that. I'll die. No, it'll be worse than that. I'll succumb to the corruption. I'm begging you, please. I, I'd, I'd rather be burned as a heretic than have scrap code in my biological cogitator. As these words, Herrick pauses a fraction of a second, almost as if he's reconsidering. In failing to offer resistance to the enemies of the Omnis, I, Unit Zeta 69, lost the grace of his machine rank. Stop. The leaders of the cult would never discuss anything of importance in front of the witness. Leave this man alone. We need to know where the cogitator is, even the her if the heretics' conversations are unimportant. I must know why the machine was so valuable to them. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. A different augmentic is responsible for my muscle memory. It has a data storage too. I remember where I walked and where I pressed my fingers. Here, here are the coordinators and the code. It's probably the code to the bay. He is subject to your of your world, Jet. It is for you to decide his face. Yeah, take him to my ship and cleanse him. <clears throat> Excessive kindness, Jet, gets good people into trouble. The sooner we start. Uh, let's check. No, no, I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, I believe we can get down this way. My mind is Who thought that was a good My idea? Reckoning will be swift. There we go. So it's been taken over and they've all gone nuts uh, because of the final dawn. Yay! I need to make sure I save a lot here, just in case I don't manage to kill, get get myself killed. Oh, ah, oh, no, that'd be the uh, fabricator general, the fabricator sensor. Who in the void are you? You dare address me in a vile tongue of savages. Me, the steward of Kiva Gamma, lord of the machine world, Neil, pathetic storeborn. It belongs to me. You are one of the troglodytes who once had the gall to oppress my comrades and resist my will. A messenger from the barbarian who drank the sacred unctions bestowed upon her by through others' toil very well. Then... Your appearance is perfect opportunity to teach your ilk a lesson. My name is Cubus Delphin. I once held the title of Fabricator Sensor of the Kiva Gamma Manufactorum. Uh, high ranking tech priest. Once my faith was flawed and led by the naive fools of the cold Mechanicus into darkness and ignorance. Now I am this world's master. I serve the true gods. You tread upon their territory, and you do not number um, among their legion. Therefore, you must be subject to immediate disposal. As a senior manufactorum member of a Brotherhood of Mars, I, Magos Explorator Pascal Hunneman, declare this temple of a machine god compromised, and forthwith forbid all service within it. I dethrone the fabricator sensor. I ignore... 
the ignorant heretic who has betrayed the Omnissiah and condemn as anathema any who stand who, and all standard procedures implemented by him. Let the cycle of blasphemous operations he has put into motion be discontinued. He switches into binary and you hear a, a dissonance budgeting into the depths of the forged cathedral. Some of the giant mechanisms heed the order and go still, while others obey the fabricator's senses will continue their work. Crashes, explosions, clanging, and crumpling metal signify some dissent among the machines has interrupted the manufacturer's production cycle. Hanuman! Liar! You are not him! Dementis Hanuman obeys me. His mind is open to the voices of the void and the scrap code he created protects my world. And I'll not have you rusted refuse from the misfit cast of explorators call me ignorant. <clears throat> this statement is false. Your regalia has been revoked. You may have been deemed defective and will be eliminated. Initiating heretic search. Designation. Dementis Hanuman. I wish to execute the retribution procedure. Well, what do you do to the governor? Is he still alive? The removal of unserviceable artifacts was the first step. He's dead. Poor old Gaprak. Ten years or so back, he told me he felt uneasy in the presence of his tin can comrades. This is my word, world, and it will serve only me. Even cursory analysis of data shows that the probability of his outcome is negligible. I do not know if I have ever seen anything more bizarre than two monkai vying to prove who's got the greater hubris. You may be driven by your will to fight, but know this, Kiva Gamma has already been converted. Its lines have been restructured and its servants have already tasted the fruits of progress. In the crucibles of the Manufactorum, torrid liquid metals will be used to forge vessels for the sacred spirits. The adepts are already tirelessly delving deeper into the new mysteries that were once barred by our by false tenants. You, servants of the fake gods, are too late. So many open admissions of heresy in so few sentences. Sister, how many death sentences would you say his words warrant? I cannot answer that, Master von Kallax. It is not my duty to measure the guilt of heretics. We, Adeptus Aratus, appear before enemies of the Imperium. It is time to fire, not count. Now is one of those times. By the name of Gone Throne, I will stop them. Comrades, purge the Manufactorium. <clears throat> okay. So basically I've got to find my way to the center and uh, go pew pew pew. I mean, but of course, Lord Captain. <laughs> if they want to let me do that, power to eradicate thy enemies. Come to chaos. Human Argenta can go down here. Right. So, snipey snipers in a good position. Can't believe they let me open with a grenade shot. Oh, Henrix, have fun.
Come on, through both. Yes. Oh yeah, and my uh, corrupted servitors, who I've got helping me, because they're good boys. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I understand your intent. Right. I won't object. I'm done with this one. Oh, I'm also alive. Argenta, oh, you get to have some fun. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. As the Emperor commands, I act. Follow my lead. I will do my duty. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's shoot there. <laughs> yeah. No ooh, 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 yes. Cost. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Indeed. Victory is imminent. At your beck and call. My place is at the fall. That'll do, so getting him charging forwards. Heavy is the dread of his painful. I venerate you, machine spirit. Oh yeah, let's buff everybody. My vow is to serve. Okay, so this fight's going nicely. Tedium is beneath I hear you moving. Yeah. No more. Let's hope my um corrupted servitors don't bug out again at the end of this fight. I think it's because I didn't actually kill one of the enemy servitors last time, so something went a bit buggy. Just a minor setback. So obviously they are the more worrying thing here. Oof. Okay, let's move around. Henrik's gonna and Pascal are gonna push up that side. Just designate a target. Can't actually see anything. For the throne's glory. Uh, not quite sure where that was meant to be going, mate. But you know. Guided by faith. I'll do it. Ah. Ah. You, my emperor. Doubt is for the weak. Reload. I'll do it. 
That's on tough cultist down. Commands, I act. It will be done. Hmm? Reduced to dust. Indeed. That'll do nicely. Pascal can keep moving this way. Okay, so we, we, we're cutting through these guys quite quickly, which is nice. Oh my god, if you press space, it speeds them. I wish I'd known that earlier. Pressing space speeds it up. I think I just accidentally skipped a turn, though. I must. I need a foothold. Come on. And charge this guy. Our gent can come round and open up into them. I'll do it. Nice. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. And charge. Victory is imminent. God damn it. Ah, oh, that was a waste. Yeah, I managed to skip my own turn once by mistake because I uh, pressed space trying to speed up or tracking if it sped up and slowed down when I was, uh, yeah. Why can't I shoot? I am not your Zenos pet, monkey. I didn't think I'd hit. The Emperor That's is on it, Henrix. Someone's death wish is mine to Sorry, I should have attacked first. <laughs> I won't object to it. We can. Take heed, rogue trader. Not sanctioned to do this. Let's see to it. More trouble than it's worth. The enemies oh, of the Emperor whoops. will be undone. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. A tactically sound approach. At your beck and call. As the tactical imperative dictates. Oh, oh it's one fact there, I completely forgot about him. Oh well, for combat the corrupted servitors didn't. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. 
Honestly, just I'll gonna walk through a trap because. Naturally. The Inquisition sends their regards. Nothing stands against me. But of course, Lord Captain. I mean, he's utterly stuck down there. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. As the Emperor commands, I act. I've Come on, Abelard. It will be done. Yeah, it can't be bothered. I'm gonna let those two deal with him because they're there and they can just basically uh, tag team him. I mean, he just literally gave me the ability to charge him. It was, seems a bit foolish of him, but you know. Sends their regards. I will do my one. There we go. Okay. Fascinating stratagem. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh no, sorry, that's one I had already. I want to keep some of that stuff for the time being. Because power axe and the power swords could be useful. I'm going to be a bit careful before I go up here, because if I remember last time, it broke. Right. Let's go into my inventory and compare my weapons. So, chainsword 14 to 20. Fourteen to eighteen. Hmm. Oh yeah, he gets buffs because of his psi rating, though. Oh, Argento can get the power axe. <laughs> Yeah, so actually most of that was not worth picking up, but we'll deal with that later. Blessed be the road that we take. Dying tech priest approached for still breathing, ma'am. Machine spirit, deliver me. The buyer, the bin hurric requiem coming from Pascal's Fox and solemn. Uh, end this man's suffering. Go to the Omnissiah. Single motion, you bring the end of his long, his end. Yeah. My success is irrefutable. Yay! It didn't bug this time. Anything around here I've missed. Ah, there's a door here. Ooh, a different one. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a second when we have a Dara in next. Uh, hack for cogitator systems. Uh, failed. Okay, well that didn't work. 
I serve the golden throne. Pay attention. Never doubt it. Uh, activate emergency bridge protocol. Okay, there we go. So we can get across now. But that, guys, is something we will be dealing with next time. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please do like and subscribe if you are. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Mods Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.